Imagine a world where power is not measured by the size of your army, but by the sophistication of your technology. This is not a sci-fi movie plot, but the reality of the 21st century. In this day and age, the true measure of power and influence is not determined by how many soldiers you have, but by how advanced your technology is. The concept of technological superiority as a form of power has moved beyond the realm of fiction and fantasy into the cold, hard light of reality. We are living in an era where technological innovation is the key, the gateway into the future. This power struggle is evident on the ever-changing stage of global politics. The United States and China, two of the world's most dominant superpowers, find themselves at the forefront of this new era, clashing not through conventional warfare, but through technological competition. This isn't about tanks, guns, and soldiers. It's about microchips, bandwidth, and the internet. It's a battle fought in the world, a battle for the future. The origins of this technology war can be traced back to the mid-20th century, during the tense years of the Cold War. Back then, the coveted technology was nuclear power. The ability to harness, control, and weaponize the atom was the ultimate display of technological prowess at that time. From this nuclear genesis, the competition expanded and evolved. It grew and spread, infiltrating virtually every corner of the tech world. It began to encompass more than just atomic energy. It extended to the development and manufacture of microchips, those tiny, intricate pieces of technology that are the heartbeat of our digital world. These microchips, small as they may be, are marvels of modern technology. They are the central components of every digital device we use, from our smartphones to our laptops. They became the new battleground, the new front line in the ongoing technology war. The smartphone revolution, led by American tech giants, marked the next phase of this relentless competition. The device that you carry in your pocket serves as more than just a conduit for communication. It is a testament to technological advancement, a symbol of innovation and ingenuity. This is more than just a race for better technology, it's a race for the future. But the contest isn't limited to smartphones, it extends to laptops as well, with both nations striving to produce the most advanced, user-friendly, and technologically superior devices. The goal is to not just create, but to innovate, to revolutionize the way we interact with technology. And the race doesn't stop there. The advent of the fifth generation of internet technology, or 5G, has introduced a new battlefield, offering faster connection speeds, more reliability, and the potential to revolutionize everything from autonomous cars to remote surgery, 5G has become the latest point of contention in this unfolding tech war. However, it's not just a competition between two nations. This technological warfare is shaping the entirety of the global tech landscape. It's driving innovation, spurring advancements, and influencing every aspect of our lives. It's a war fought not on physical battlefields but in research labs, corporate boardrooms and tech companies across the every breakthrough, every patent, every product launch is a new battle, a new step forward in this unending war of technology. As we step further into the digital age, this technological warfare continues to grow, shaping not only the relationship between these two superpowers, but also the future of global tech innovation. From the Silicon Valley to the tech hubs of Shenzhen, the battlefields of this new kind of warfare are as diverse as they are complex. This ongoing tech showdown spans the globe, blurring geographical boundaries and altering traditional definitions of power and influence. Let's begin by examining the lifeblood of our digital age. Microchips. These small, seemingly inconsequential pieces of technology are the heart of virtually every electronic device we use today. They underpin everything, from the smartphones we use to communicate, to the cars we drive, to the appliances that make our lives convenient. The US, with its abundance of tech giants like Intel and AMD, has traditionally enjoyed an unchallenged dominance in this field. These companies have been pioneers, continuously pushing the boundaries of what's possible with microchip technology. However, the status quo is being challenged. China's unquenchable ambition to become a global tech superpower has propelled it into the microchip industry. Companies like Huawei and SMIC are making significant inroads not just domestically but on a global scale as well. This has sparked a fierce competition, a digital arms race of sorts, with each striving to outdo the other in terms of speed, efficiency, and innovation. Next, let's shift our focus to the ubiquitous devices we've come to rely on so heavily, smartphones and laptops. These devices are no longer just tools, they have become extensions of ourselves. They house our memories, 
facilitate our work, support our hobbies, and connect us to the world. The US and China have been locked in a relentless tug of war in this arena as well. The sleek designs and advanced technologies of Apple's iPhone and Microsoft's Surface have been met with stiff competition from China's Huawei and Lenovo. This rivalry has led to an exhilarating race of technology and design that shows no signs of slowing down. Yet even as we marvel at these remarkable devices, it's the invisible network that truly binds everything together, the Internet. It has revolutionized our world, transforming how we work, play, and interact. And the latest iteration of this, the fifth generation or 5G Internet, has become another fiercely contested battleground. It's not just about faster download speeds or smoother streaming, 5G promises to usher in a new era of interconnectedness where everything from our fridges to our cars can communicate seamlessly. The race to implement 5G has been intense, to say the least. The US's Qualcomm and China's Huawei are locked in a race, each striving to set the global standards for this transformative technology. But this competition has not been without its fair share of controversy. Allegations of intellectual property theft have tainted the race, and trade wars have only served to raise the moreover, Concerns over national security have added another layer of complexity to this high-stakes competition, making this technological cold war as contentious as it is fascinating. This technological rivalry is not just about national pride or economic supremacy, it's about shaping the future. It's about determining who will set the standards for the digital age, who will control the platforms and infrastructure that will drive innovation for the next generation. In this high-stakes game of technological one-upmanship, who stands to benefit, and who stands to lose. As we delve deeper into this technological cold war, we'll explore the impact of this rivalry on the global stage, the economy, and our daily lives. We'll examine how this competition could potentially reshape our society, our culture, and our world, how it could set the course for our future. The global shockwaves of this tech cold war traverse far beyond China and the USA's borders. It's a planetary game changer, redefining our relationship with technology, global business interactions, and even reshaping the blueprint of international politics we've grown accustomed to. This clash of titans isn't only influencing how the world defines its tech norms. In the past, such norms were established through International International Accord, a pact that guaranteed compatibility and interconnectivity. Now the story is different. Contemporary standards are increasingly shaped by the power struggle between these two titans of technology, China and the USA, as they vie for global tech dominance. This continual skirmish has drawn a clear line, a digital divide echoing an iron curtain. It suggests that disparate parts of the world could be driven to adopt and utilize fundamentally different technologies. This divide isn't confined to tech norms, it also impacts international trade ties. In today's world technology has evolved as a critical catalyst for economic growth. Nations worldwide are experiencing the pressure to side with one of the two superpowers or risk being stranded. This pressure has spawned a convoluted web of alliances, trade packs and occasionally conflicts that sadly only fan the flames of already heated international relations. Nations find themselves in a tricky situation, compelled to maneuver through this complex maze of political and economic alliances. The geopolitical panorama is also undergoing a significant shift as a result of this technological tug of war. Technology, once merely viewed as a tool, has transformed into a formidable weapon, wielded to exert influence and consolidate power. Countries that master these technologies can gain a significant upper hand, thereby reconfiguring the global power hierarchy. In this emerging world order, tech expertise carries as much weight as military power. This shift in dynamics alters power equations, positioning technological supremacy alongside traditional power sources like military strength and economic wealth. Technological decoupling injects more complexity into this intricate scenario. The possible fallout from such a move is enormous, is enormous, and could cause seismic shifts in how our world functions. It could potentially trigger a fragmented internet, a split global economy, and a heightened risk of conflict. In a world centered on connectivity and interdependence, the idea of decoupling seems almost contradictory, but it's a reality that may soon stare us in the face given the escalating friction between China and the USA. As these two tech giants persist in their standoff, the world holds its breath. The very core of global politics, economy and technology is being recrafted in this Cold War's wake. 
the ripple effects of this confrontation will unquestionably have have lasting impacts, challenging our established beliefs and paving the path for a new epic. In the midst of all this, one question casts a long shadow over future prognoses. What does the future hold in this intensifying struggle for tech supremacy? Wrapping up, always bear in mind that in this era of technological warfare, staying informed is the mainstay. We've journeyed through the ascent of microchips, smartphones, laptops, and the fifth generation internet connectivity, and their substantial role in reshaping global power structures. Journey is not just a chronicle of the evolution of, it's a, a narrative about us, roles, and the legacy we're leaving for our future generations. So keep that curiosity alive, educate yourself, and we'll catch up in the next episode.